Hello, 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 everybody. This is Dr. Shaniva Early, your craft doctor, and I'm here with a video today. Uh, this is the basket pop-up card kit from Anna Griffin. So I did buy the, the die itself, um, and I bought the kit so then I could have both of them. So when the kit runs out, I'll have the die to be able to make... Um, uh, all of the baskets. I think this is really gorgeous and I'm not a pop-up person. Like the rest of the pops up was not interesting to me, but I really like this, um, basket pop-up and some of the auto ships that's coming along with it is really, really pretty. So let's put this together right quick. And I got all of my pieces already picked out, of course, and a bunch of flowers. And this is all from the kit. Um, first thing I want to do is the front of the card. So um, I picked this card base from the kit and it opens up like this. And this is where you put the basket, of course. So um, let's get this put together, the front of the card. So these are from the, um, let's see, what's the name of this? Opulent die set. Okay, so this is the slim one. This is the opulent. I don't have that one. But this is the opulent um, card dies. I mean, uh, border dies, excuse me. And I'm putting them on this way. So I want them to meet in the middle. Like that. Okay. So let's glue these down. Okay. And I cut these, I cut these out, um, cut these out to just to give a little bit of texture. That gold always look really nice um, underneath. Okay, so we're going to put this, and I'm just matching this up with the centerpiece here to make sure that it is pretty well centered on the card. Okay. <clears throat> and then we'll do this one. Um, do any of you have this pop-up box die? I think it's really cute. Um, I, what attracted me is not necessarily the pop-up die itself, the basket, but what it represents. It represents the ability to give people flowers while they're living. And that is one of the things that I love to do is give people flowers while they're living and so that's why I really took to this one as opposed to the other ones which um I don't know it just the cake pop-up cake and the pop-up uh leaf thing um poinsettia is what it's called other than I just did not take to them very well I don't know why this one really caught my eye also there is an auto ship for this um uh, i think it's an auto ship or other baskets that's going to come out after this it may not necessarily be an auto ship but it's going to be something else that's going to come out um i've seen it uh on hsn Okay, so let's put some pop dots on this one. And I believe Anna really, she really does, her and her team does great work with these kits that she comes up with. Okay, let me put one seems it needs to go right there okay okay let's 
take these off. I need to get bigger pop dots um, so I can stop using these baby ones. But I have so many of them because they come in her kits. And they're real handy when you in tight spaces. But when you have these bigger die types, not so much. Okay. So we're going to line this up and we're covering up that center line so you really can't see that there's a break right there. Okay. Just like that. And this is celebrate your birthday. But I'm going to change this. Okay. This must not be one of the ones that's an actual sticker. And I'm changing it from my heart to yours. Okay. And this, I got this sticker out the birthday the birthday kit and I'm gonna stick that right there okay so there we go that's our outside of our card now we're gonna set this part as a, set this part aside okay, let's put it right there and we'll make our basket and I picked out a bunch of flowers I may not necessarily use all of them but I wanted to pick out a, quite a few different flowers um, for this uh, design. Okay, so you got the piece that looks like a little elephant -y nose or whatever. And then it tells you to put these all together. So what you have to do is you have to put tape. And I'm going to consult my little piece here just to make sure. Yeah, you have to put tape on these. So I'm using some score tape. Glue. I'm going to use some score tape, uh, which will make it easier. Um, you need one on each thing that is a different color, you need tape. So when you get ready to do this uh, without the uh, kit, you kind of know where everything goes, but it also will tell you. Okay, and then we need some tape on this piece. We need tape here, which you'll see why in a minute. We'll need tape here. We're gonna need tape on the back of this one. And then this little piece here. You need tape here, and you need tape here. And did I get that? Yes. Okay, so let's move all of these out the way for right now and get our basket together. Okay, so for the basket, you only have these two, two of these, one of these, one of these, and one of these. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to put in your little um, brackets. And you put your brackets on the inside. Well, let's leave that there. You first, there's a score line here. There's a score line there, okay? Okay. So you, what you want to do is you want to take your brackets. You want the this piece to point into itself so that you want them facing one another. Just like that, okay? So you want to put the first one on. And you're just going to lie this right down. No, that doesn't make sense. Okay, yeah, that does that that is right. That is right. You're supposed to put it in here. Um, okay, we're gonna lay it down for a minute just to get it in here. And make sure that these are pointing the right direction. Okay, so make sure this is pointing, and this goes this way, and this goes this way. Okay, so those two go in there. And these 
are the centers. They go in there. And I may be doing it out of order, but that's okay. So then these two pieces here, take those tapes off, and they have score lines. You score in the center, and then you make like a M, like that. See that? An M. Okay, and your M goes on these D's. So you're really going to lay them right where they are. Okay. This goes down in there. And I haven't taken that off um, for a reason. And I will show you what that reason is. Because they're telling you to do this first. Um, or the way Anna showed you it first. But it's not first. But that's what this looks like. Okay. That's, you need them because they're your braces. You need to put your, make sure you score on all the score marks. There's a score here to put it together. These have score marks. Make sure you do back and forth, back and forth. So then it gives it some movement, okay? And there's a score line right here also. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to stick, wrap this around the two of them, and stick this in the hole in that one see that goes there and then this B it goes right over the B okay then this C it goes right over the C and that's why I was holding off doing it because it goes over the C, which will cover the B. Okay? So that's why I only did it on one side so I can kind of hang it on. So then when you put this one in here, you put this one over the B. Try not to make it crooked. Okay, so put that one over the B. And this one goes over the C and the B. So you see how it's layering on top? You see that? Okay. And then that sits down on its own. And then, then you can put these together, the sides together, without a problem. And it A matches to A. Just like that. A matches A. That puts that together. And so now you have the mechanism. You have your... Um, these are braces. And then this part is E. And this simply lays right on there. And it kind of is camouflaged like it's hidden. But it works really well. Um, I guess if I take the other piece of tape off, it'll work well. So E goes on top of E goes on top of E. Just like that. And it kind of it makes it look light. Come on. There we go. See, it blends it in. It blends it in. And that is our little vase or basket, as it were. And it will fold properly like that. Okay? And you could, if you want to, give this some roundness if you want. Give this some roundness. Even you can do this before you put this in here. Give this some roundness. that's up to you okay so then all of this goes right in there right in the center right like that okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our some of our strong tape and we're gonna put it right on the card base I 
our score tape. I'm going to do the same thing for this. And I'm covering up that double layer. Okay. So I've shown you this before, but when you get ready to put something in the center, if you wanted to get uh, be in the center and stay, you put it in the center on one side, make sure it's centered, and you bring it up to it. Don't lay it down. You bring the side to meet it, and that will help it tuck in the center better. So see, I'm getting ready to um, take this off, and then this, I'm bringing this up to it, just like that. And so see how it's in the center? See that it's tucked right into the center. Not There's no space there. It's tucked right there. And that's how you do that. Okay? And now it's all about the decorating. Once you got this in here, okay, so this is the top. We're going to lay this, stand this up. And we're going to decorate our um, basket. So these are... Uh, these stickers. Okay. So I want this little piece here to hang out the basket. So I'm tucking it in and I'm letting it hang on that brace right there. Okay. And it's hanging on right there. So see. If you see it in the inside, it's stuck onto this brace right there, okay? Now, don't forget, when you're working with this and you you want your stuff to not stick, you need your powder tool. Oh, and where did my powder tool go? Oh, here it is. Okay, so... I'm just going to take my powder tool and I'm just running it over this part here so it will not be sticky anymore, okay? Okay, so I should have did this beforehand, but oh well. okay. So then I'm going to turn this over and there's another one of these because you want everything to be like a 360 type of thing. So I'm going to this time, I'm not going to take all of the tape off. I'm just going to take the bottom part that's going to stick in there. And I'm going to put this part inside the basket, stick that on here and this on that brace. Okay, right there. So I didn't take all of it, but I did take a significant amount. So I'm just going to powder tool this up and make sure that's in there and it's stuck well in there. It's stuck on there. Okay, so now let's make sure we got it the right direction. Then we're going to take these gigantic, cute tea pies, and I'm going to take off the bottom half again. So then you're not worrying about the powder tool part. I'm just pulling off the bottom part of the sticker because I want this to hang out. Did I do it the right direction? Yeah. I want this to tuck in here. And I'm making sure that they're sticking on that little brace and it's sticking on the outside. Okay? Just like that. Then you're going to do the same thing to the back. That's this piece. And I'm just going to take this part off again, just the bottom. Okay, 
and I'm going to stick this in here. And I'm sticking it on that brace. Did I do that right? Um, I didn't pick. Did I put it on the wrong side? Mm. Let me take this one out. Mm. No, nope, that's not right. Okay, you know what we're going to do? If it's not right, we're going to take this baby and we're going to put her down at the bottom. And we're going to put this one down at the bottom. And we'll take is it these two. Yes, these two. And we'll stick those in there instead. That's the reason why I took out a lot of flowers. Okay. Okay. So now we got that one stuck in the front and this one is stuck onto that one. And then we're going to take this one and we're going to take off the bottom part of this one again. And we're just taking off the bottom part. And how did I put that one on there? Yep, this one is stuck onto the back of that one. And it's hanging off like that. And it's stuck to the back of this one. Okay. Now it's time to stick the flowers in. So I'm sticking this one on the brace in the back because you don't want to see the back of the flowers. So where's this one? Where's that one? At? This one. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same to this one. And so you won't see the back of that. Then we're going to take these so I always have problems taking the sticky off am I the y'all am I alone do y'all had a problem taking the sticky off too okay and then we're going to stick this one down here okay and then we're going to turn this around I'm going to take this one the goal is try to make it look good all the way around so no matter how the person is looking at it they're gonna like it okay yep I tuck this in there Now, I'm going to take this one and I'm going to put this one right there and then I'm going to turn this one around. going to tuck this one. Nope, it needs to go on this side. But you want to make sure it's not hanging outside of... Let's put it right here. You don't want it hanging outside of this, these walls. Okay? 
Then I'm going to take this back, yeah. And I'm going to put this champagne bottle right here. And this is the little cake. Okay. Come on, little cake. <clears throat> and I'm putting little cake right here. Okay. All right. So that is our basket of flowers. And so when you open it, you open it like this. You open it like this. People will see it from the front and from the back. See, what I was telling you, don't let that piece be out there. Um, okay, come on. I'm just tucking it back in a little bit further in. There we go. Fold it, you fold it, make sure you have fold it really good. You might want to put a belly band on it to keep it closed. Um, if not, you once you um, take it out the um, envelope, it'll just, it won't close. But you open it up and you have your basket of flowers. And so you have the fronts and you have your back so you got a 360 ram of flowers what are y'all doing down there you must have feel when i took that piece out <laughs> see the main thing is kind of covering up you know the inside you want to cover up these pieces here so when i'm looking from the front i'm not seeing white when i'm looking from the back i'm not seeing white and that's how that works all right so thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in the next one. Okay. That's this. Cute, 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 cute. All right. <laughs>